this problem. In this problem, as in all the problems in this, or most of the problems in this uh, section, the, the way you do when, you, when do, you are asked for the magnitude or the resultant of a, a series of forces, what you have to do, you have to decompose the forces in the rectangular components. In this problem, it's very easy because it's 2D, so you have to get the components in the X and Y direction. Once you have the components in the X and Y direction, you just add all the Xs, all the components in the X direction, then you add all the components in, in X direction, then all the components in the Y direction, and then th that's those summations are the components of the resultant. So here, very easy, very easy, let's see. You have to, you have a, a force P, P. This force can be expressed as P, um, X, let's call it PX, I, plus PY, J. And that's how you decompose all those forces. You probably are used to uh, PX equal to P cosine uh, theta, so P or something like that. Uh, this is true if you have the angle that the force makes with respect to the x-axis. But that's not always the case. If, if, for example, in this case, you have this angle, let's say you have this angle, then in this case, the component in the x-direction will be P times the sine of the angle, right? So you have the component here, this will be Px. In this case, Px will be P cosine of 30 degrees. But if you have that angle alpha, let's say in this case, we know that this angle is 60 degrees. If you know that this angle is 60, this angle is 60, you can say also that Px is equal to P sine 60 degrees. You don't necessarily have the angle that the, the, the force makes with the axis. You might have the complement of that angle so that you, instead of using cosine, you will use sine. All right. Okay, let's continue here. So for P, you will do here um, the component. This is the X axis. We always consider X positive to the right, right? So in this component is going in, in the opposite direction to the X positive. So it's a negative component. So you have to manually do here minus the magnitude is 128 and then cosine 30. And that multiplied by I, right? And then we have the component of P in the vertical direction, let's do, let's call, let, let's see that one here. See, this will be PY. So that would be, and, and look, PY is also going down. So it's also negative. You have to put negative, you have to put it manually. So you have 128 sine of, sine of 30, J. So that will give you some number here, so, and some number here, 110.85i, with a minus sign here, minus 128 times sine 30 equals 64j, all right? Okay, that's P. Now let's go for Q. Q will be equals to this cosine of this angle. So that Q is here 158. And this one is positive because the component, the component of the force Q is this one in the X direction. So it's going positive. So we have plus 158 cosine of the total angle here is 30 plus 15. So this angle is 45 I. And then the component on the Y direction is, is this is the first Q, the component in the Y direction will be this component here. This will be Q Y. So that will be minus because it's going down 158 sine 
of 45 J. Okay. One 11.72 I equals here U and positive because the component in the X direction is this one right here going positive, right? 158 times sine 45. Oh, the same value because sine and cosine of 45 are the, is the same, right? So it would be the same value here, J. So now the S, the S force will be um, this 291, 291 cosine of 15 I plus, uh, minus, so I, I made a mistake here. This is minus, right? This is minus here. So let's fix that here. This is minus. Uh, and and the, the force S has also a negative component in the Y direction, it's going down. So that will be 291 sine of 15 degrees J. So those numbers will be 281. 0.08 I 75.030.316 J. We have the three forces with the with the components in the X and Y direction. Let's let's make reduce the size a little here. So now we have to take the summation of all the components in the X direction and all the components in the Y direction, and those will be the X and Y components of the resultant. So the resultant in the direction of X will be this, these values here, uh, this plus this plus this, each one with the, with the corresponding sign. So it will be minus one, 10.85. Uh, plus 111.72 plus 281 points. What did I say? 181.08 equals. And the resultant in the y direction will be this value here plus this value here plus this value here with the sign, with the corresponding sign. So this, there will be minus 64, minus 111.72, minus 75.316, to 81.95, 251.04. So those are the components uh, of the resultant. And it says here, uh, I'll find the magnitude. Let's find the magnitude. So the magnitude, you get it by using Pythagorean theory. So uh, uh, what we have so far is that we have the X axis and the Y axis. This is negative here. And we have a component in the S direction of 280 one so something like this and then an 82 and another going down 251 something like this 251 so the resultant will be this force here this is the resultant so the magnitude of the resultant will be the square root of 281.95 square plus 251.04 square. So the resultant is going to be equal to 377.51. So this will be 378 pounds, right? So that's, that's the magnitude. And the angle, the angle, it says, is direction measured clockwise from the positive axis. So this will be the positive axis. So clockwise will be like this. So let's call this one alpha will be tangent minus one of the, the vertical direction, the vertical distance here divided by the horizontal distance here, 
divided by 280, well, actually 51.04 and 281.95. Remember, five significant digits every time that you are doing intermediate calculations. So 251.04 divided by 281.95 equals our tangent of that 41. Since, since this is the final answer, it will be 0.7 degrees. So this will be 41.7 degrees. All right. And that's it. Well, if I want to put this with my notation A, 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 B, 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 so it will be um, 378417. This will be the number that I have to put into the computer for the quiz, right? Okay. Agree? All right.